Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. It is a follow-up for a recent live stream I did with my friend Karen of Karen's Crafting Company. Each month we go live for a color cube live and viewers help us choose which color palette we'll use while we create a new project. If you haven't seen this month's Color Cube Live, you can check out the description box for the replay link. I hope that you'll check it out so you can see the products in action because today is more of just a project share. During that live, I mentioned how I loved some of the other color palette options that didn't get chosen, so I wanted to come back use the same products, the same layout, everything, just change up the colors to see what the difference is. And guess what? Karen decided to join me too. So make sure when you're done with my video that you go visit hers. I will have it linked below and as an end card at the end of this video. Before I get to those alternative versions, I do want to share with you the first card that I created. The card that was chosen by the live viewers was number 211, which this was my pick for the option, so I was happy I got to use it. And to create my card, I used Tailored Expressions Four Season Stamp and Stencil Combo. So the red rubber stamp stamps where the veins are in the little accents on the image and then you get four stencils to color it in. Now if you're interested in finding out more about any of the products I use for this card, I do have some links in the description box below. The first card I made, which I have to say I did love it, looks like this. So I used one of their die sets for the layout pieces and to accent it, I got out some diamond dots. And if you can look in the background on the blue piece, I wanted a little more texture. So I used a wood grain embossing folder. On the inside, I did use some of the leftovers to decorate the space for the personal message. Now, like I say, I loved this one. I loved the color palette we got to use, but I also liked some of the other options. So let's go ahead and take a look at what those were. Other options that were up for vote was Karen's pick, which is card number 379, which I really did love. And then my channel members got to narrow it down from three cards. And while they chose a different one for the final poll, this was probably my favorite one they got to choose from, which is card number 245. So I wanted to give this a try. I liked all the blues with that pop of like that reddish pink. So what I did, like I said before, this is not a process, it's more of a project share, but I brought in my cardstock ring and I chose pieces or colors that would go closely with these. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect match and you can use the back of the card and see different shades, but I matched these up to cardstocks and then I got out the inks that, I, that would go along with these. So now I'm gonna show you up on screen the colors I selected for each of the cards. After I inked up each of those panels, I was in love. I love them all. So I went ahead and made those into cards and here are the final creations. Here is a close-up look at the card that used Color Cube card number 379 and the card I created using Color Cube card number 245. I have to say, I love all of these, how they turned out. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the final three with their cards and see if you can pick a favorite. Although I do love all of these, I really did think that the 245 was gonna be my favorite, but it actually ended up being the one I created with card 379, which was Karen's pick. Let me know your favorite combo down in that comment section below. 
Now don't forget to go check out Karen's video to see the new card she created. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.